Hey everyone, it's me Karen and I'm here today to do another manicure with you. You can see what I'm going to do, so let's get to it right away. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here are some of the supplies for my manicure today. Can you guess what I'm going to do? No, not yet? I'll give you another hint. Can you guess now? That's right, I'm going to do some Packer nail art. And here's what I've got. I've got my finger paints. This is paper mache. Nine zero corn maze. And another nine zero cat in the Christmas tree. And so let's get started. This is a brand new bottle and look at that, I flooded my cuticle. Yeesh. I've not used the corn maze before. Ooh. Later on, you'll see that I actually put a little bit of a Northern Lights hollow top coat on this. It just didn't match the sparkliness that the next, this green color had. This cat in a Christmas tree is stunning and it just was so sparkly and the yellow just did not come close so I thought it needed a little bit of a boost there was a lot of nice hollow in that corn maze okay so I as you saw on the screen I just added a second coat off camera and here goes that uh, bit of hollow top coat for the yellow And this is a top coat of your choice. This is a quick dry powder perfect. Clean up a little bit. I used 100% acetone. Okay, on the accent nail, I'm going to do some blocking off with the striping tape. And we're going to fill in with the green and the yellow. Yeah, make sure your tape is down solidly on your nail so that you don't have bleeding into the area that you want to stay white. You might notice that a little tiny bit of the green went over into the yellow. It's not critical. I do try to fix it later on. I'm also not too concerned with the cuticle area. I wanted to make sure that I got it, got all the polish on the white areas. I don't like it when the white bleeds through in the edge area, that is. So, you know, just use your cuticle stick to remove some of the excess and then your cleanup brush. And here we go. I'm going to get that bottom edge. Make sure it's nice and crisp. And I'm also going to use that 
same detail brush to try to fix that um, bit that of green that went into the yellow. It helped a little bit. Now the directions on these water decals said to just hold it into the water for 10 to 15 seconds. I used my tweezers to hold it as you can see and then slid it off a little bit. I didn't realize that the decals were clear and I wanted that G to be white so I put it on my stamping head and I was going to paint it in. Now that little bit of um, towelette that I used to dab up the excess water had a fuzz on it and I had fuzz all over that head so I had to use some tape to get it cleaned off again. That worked out. Now the brush was not working very well here. I was um, frustrated that it was so pale so I switched over to the dotting tool as you can see. That went a lot faster. And I noticed that the helmet decal was also like the G. I'm going to need to fill in I also decided to do the whole helmet because it was not going to pop against the colors on my nails. And I just used a little bit of super dry to make a decal out of them, you know, like I do with stamping, and let that dry for a little bit. It didn't take very long. Now this is the nail that I really, really was fond of. I wanted this to look like a banner. Now the only thing I did wrong with this is I set it down on the nail too quickly and it did not get centered right. Oh well, I tried to pick it up, but it had stuck to the nail. And then I just went and used some acetone on the edge to get the excess plastic from the decal off. Seal it up real nice with some top coat and you're done. And we're going to move on to put the other decals on. They should be ready here. Yep. And this was starting to stick quickly so I kind of had to leave it where it ended up landing. And the helmet is going on the middle finger which has a green background and that too stuck too quickly. I was disappointed. I should have put that on a white background or something. You can't see the helmet um, cage that protects the face but that's okay. Overall this was a fun manicure. Alright there we go. 
my Packers nails. I like it. I like the polishes I used. Love my accent nail. Wish I would have gotten that uh, decal straightened out better, centered better. This turned out okay. This looks crappy. Don't like that. But hey, team pride. Love my Packers. Go Pack Go. Hope you enjoyed this video. So hope you thumbs up me for this video. Even if you're not a Packers fan, let's go for team pride. You guys have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.